guys, all you have to do is go into the folder and go into the Cinema 4D folder located here and open the file. Now this is very simple, all you have to do is click the mode text up here and change your name. So I'm going to put in Primal as an example. And so when I click the play button, the text has changed. Now sometimes uh, the text isn't fully centered, so all I have to do is click the mode text again and then go to the live selection tool and center it. Now you see there, if I click the play button again, it looks perfectly fine. So this part is very important. This, the second thing you need to do is go into the render settings, go to save, and click the three dots up here. Now there should be already a folder um, that says render files here. So all I have to do is double click that and uh, just name your render. Now I've already done that and if you want to um, render your files in another folder you can do that too but there is already a render folder here. So once you've saved uh, where the render is located all I have to do is click the uh, render button. So now we're going to move on to the After Effects part. So this might be a bit laggy on your screen because I am recording but um, all you have to do is go up here on the project uh, window and this is going to be different for you because um, it's going to say that these files are missing so all you have to do is right click the missing files so first you'll see the render that um, you just rendered out it should be a .png file so right click it and replace footage or re yeah replace footage and file and you should go into the render file folder and select the files that you just rendered out. Now it should say that these vortexes and the song is missing so all I have to do is right click them, do the same thing, uh, replace footage, go to file, and you want to go to shockwaves and both the shockwaves are here and same thing with the song, the song is in, um, it's in the folder. So that's basically it guys, all you have to do is go um, select your composition, select comp2, go to composition, and add to render queue. Now for the best render settings, this is what I do, basically I click the output module and I change this to h.264 and uh, everything's set up, um, so I press ok and uh, basically it and if the frame rate is set to something else make sure to put it to 59.94 because that's the best frame rate frame rate and um, basically go ahead and click the output to and render it wherever you want so thank you guys so much for watching go ahead and leave a like on the video